Hey guys, I'm going to show you today how to create a subscribe to download opt-in pop-up using Ninja Forms and Pop-Up Maker. Uh, we also have a little bit of custom code, so we're going to use this plugin here to add that. Uh, you feel free to add your custom JavaScript however you normally would do that. Um, first thing we want to do is make our form. So we're going to come over here and create a form. And we just want a really simple basic form for this this demonstration. Uh, we're going to go with a name, of course, a, an email field, a hidden field, which is the key to this entire thing, and of course a submit button. We're going to make everything required because, you know, it obviously is. Uh, this is going to hold our file URL. This is the file that they're going to either download or um, be emailed at the end. Um, that's where the custom code is going to come in. You'll see how that works in just a few minutes. So the next step is to add our email action or our success actions, which we don't need an admin email. And then here we're going to add something. Thanks for your interest your file should start downloading shortly if not please click here to start now. all right this is your typical messaging here so one of the thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here on a new line and we're going to get this merge code for that hidden field. We're going to use this a couple different times, so we're going to go ahead and put that in the key, in the, in the clipboard. We're going to turn this into a link here using that file URL. Now this file URL is going to contain the URL of whatever link was clicked to open this pop-up to show the subscription form. Uh, so essentially what you're going to do is you could have a list of links on the page that point to different PDFs and you can either choose to require them to submit the form every time they want to download a different PDF or you could choose to have them submit the form once and then they can have access to all of them pretty easily uh, with no extra hassle. Uh, this method will work for either of those. So that's pretty much done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that same uh, same extra that little hidden field there and we're going to put that in as the URL for a redirect as well. So what that's going to do is immediately start the file downloading after the form is submitted successfully. Uh, the last thing we're going to want to do is just to give a demonstration of how you could send this over an email rather than giving it to them immediately. Here is your file and down here we're going to do check it out and we're going to make that a link. So. Let's see if this will work. And open a new window. Does that work? That does work. Awesome. Okay. So, keep that simple. Now, what's going to happen is every time they submit the form, it's going to take that URL that's in that hidden field, and it's going to redirect them directly to it. It's going to email it to them, and of course it's going to put it in the success messages a link that they can download right away if they if the download for some the redirect for some reason fails. So let's go ahead and publish that and give that a subscribe to download. And now it's just putting let's get a next thing we need to do is create a pop-up. We're gonna keep that one super simple too. Uh Ours is going to consist of just the form, the a click trigger that we're going to set up um, to target various types of, of uh, links on our site, and uh, possibly a cookie depending on whether you want um, every if the form to be submitted every time they try to download a PDF. So we're going to give it a name of subscribe to download, keep everything the same. I'm going to come down here and insert our form. We want to add a click trigger. And if you wanted to prevent it from showing up every time, which is what I'm going to demonstrate here, you would 
you would you would add a cookie for your ninja form success right here basically what it's going to do is if that form gets submitted successfully it's going to disable this pop-up for ex an extended period of time and we'll you'll see that just in shortly uh, the first thing we want to do here though is add our class here or our CSS selector to target specific links uh, what we're doing here is we want to target any link that also has the subscribe to download class or because you might be using the Gutenberg editor or a uh, another page builder you often want to add a class using their 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 CSS class field that they offer but this usually puts the class on the parent of the element not on that link itself so what we're going to do here is we're going to add a second one here that's going to target any links inside of an element that has that class as well uh, and you can see it's already linked our cookie here now one thing we are going to do is we're going to come back down here and we're going to edit this we're gonna go for one year, just just to make it not annoy them, if they were to come back a month from now. We're gonna publish that. All right, and second to last step, we need to add our custom codes. We're gonna add some custom JavaScript. The link for this will be in the in the the notes below. We're gonna title it the same to keep it all the same. I'm going to paste our code in here. All right, so we got to get a couple things here to customize this properly. We need the correct pop-up ID, and we need the form field ID, and I'm going to show you how to get that now. All right, so the pop-up ID, you can just come right here and copy it from there. That's not a big deal. Now, the form ID, we don't need this anymore. Uh, we're going to come in here, and we're going to open our pop-up, and we're going to inspect the pop up here. We're going to come in and go down to find our hidden field and you can see each field here is is in order. So if this is the the name field then the next one's logically going to be our hidden field and you can see that that is. So it's number 7. Just to show you cuz not every form is the same, you might need to inspect all the way down to find the actual input and get the ID of that input. So we're going to use that here. So now we have a valid CSS selector that will target that field if we were to use CSS or JavaScript. So what this is going to do is every time that pop-up 13 opens, right before it opens it's going to take the link, the last clicked trigger, the one that opened this pop-up this time, and it's going to get the field. And what it's going to do is if, it, if the URL is not empty for that trigger, it's going to insert it into the field, that way we can pass it on as part of the submission data. So let's go ahead and publish that. And the last step is to obviously set up some some a demonstration of actually seeing it working. So let's go ahead and do that. I already have a button set up here. Just to show you how simple this can be. All right, so this this our button already points to a PDF. Um, that you can you, you would be able to download and what we're going to do is we're going to add our subscribe to download class to this Gutenberg block um, over here under the advanced side you can see down here there's a, a box for classes and what we're going to do is we're going to add our subscribe to download which matches what we put into our pop-ups click trigger I'm going to go ahead and update that <coughs> And then we're going to go ahead and view that. And if everything went well, worked correctly, when we click this box, it should give us a pop-up. And let's go ahead and put our information in there. And then we're going to submit it. And voila, it took me straight to the PDF. Uh, you'll also, I don't know if it has the email. Let me see if I can show you the email that would have gone sent here. There we go, mail catcher. And let's see if it'll view it. I don't know if it will or not, we'll see. Ah, there you go. It sent the link right there. So, as you can see, this is a pretty nice little solution for most downloads. Uh, 
uh, subscribe to download solution or situations. I did want to show you that now that the cookie is set, and you can check that right here in the Google Chrome application tab, you can see that we do in fact have a cookie. Now for pop up 13, it should not show up anymore. And it should just go straight to the, the PDF. I uh, hope that helps. Uh, if you have a comment or question, leave it below. Thanks.